All right. What's up, random gamer? How are you, man? All right, you one v one me. Whoa, you okay, buddy? My respects to you. Mm hmm. The fisherman sent me to you. Said you'd be up for a brawl. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> well, we haven't had any new blood here for a while. But if you want an easier scrap, you should go to Maple or Joseph. Hey, Wolf. Uh, pretty good. Had my day I had a day off today, so got some groceries, relaxed, all that good stuff. Well, there we go. Corva, See you later, bit. No, Alpha, I, uh, the bot's not on. Another one? What the hell? Where's the high quality content? Well, I'm sorry. Jeez. <laughs> you showed him. And did you? No. Nothing. Do I look like someone? Uh. Um. Thanks. All right. Hang on. There, the bot's on. Ow. Jesus, look for your dog. Good health to you. The fisherman told me you'd be up for a brawl. Is it true? Aye, if you have a mind to. What? I. What are you talking about, Simply? Are you just, like, kind of giving me a hard time because reasons? Mm. 
What's up, Wesley? <laughs> so basically, you're just 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 giving me a hard time. Uh, you're just giving me a hard time, Wesley. Or excuse me, simply because you know reasons. All right, one more guy to to beat up, and I get to win Fight Club. Medieval style. I know, right, Wesley? I'm surprised that they don't make me uh, take off my gauntlets uh, before entering into a freaking fist fight. Yeah, I'm looking for your husband so I can beat the shit out of him. Or not. Look where you're going. Hey, no. look out. Hey. What have we here? You. I hope I can be of help. Are you one of the local pugilists? I'm glad you showed up. Is that how you pronounce it? Pugilist? I always thought it was Pugilist. With a hard G. Even talking about King Arthur. I mean, are you talking like are you even talking about like the Disney animated like movie? Oh, the book? I don't think I've ever actually read the book. Damn it, I wish I was able to swim. All right. All right, fisherman. Your turn. I am honored that you should come. Let's fight. All right. Good. Mm. 
Don't read it, stick to the movies. Fair enough. Ow, motherfucker. There we go. All right, here we go. Bold Bayer Bastar. Batar? Batar? What are you after here, you fucker? I can see you're not from around here. We've had no one coming here lately but bots of them. Wait, you're... Are you seriously trying to pick a fight with me? What were you expecting, huh? You want coin, do you? For the funeral, I say. A coffin and a priest. Sorry, but your old woman will have to pay What's for up, that. Justin? You better start running if you don't want to die. Come now. No need to get upset. It's just a bit of banter. Nothing more. So, I'll be on my way then. Farewell. the fuck out of here. Fucking come on then. I will fuck you up. I know, Elliot. It could be so much better. I mean, it's not a travesty, but it's not that good. I mean, it's not like Oblivion level. I know, right? Ooh, actually, I need to talk to this girl. Yes, I need this. Need this too. And these are expensive. It's expensive as hell, but all right. What score am I giving this game? Um, I'm giving it. So far, I'm giving it a. Uh, if I were, if I have to try and be 
like and not do what reviews tend to do, which is like everything if it uh, if it's below a seven, it's complete trash, and if it's higher than seven, it's a must buy. I give it a seven and a half. Um, so far, the the bugs are what are what's killing uh, the score for this game. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. Lady, you're getting a shit ton of coin off of me, so let's do something about that. Now I knew we'd come to an agreement. With if I if there were if this game were far more polished, I'd actually give it uh, a pretty a, a much higher scale. I'd probably give it an, a, a full on point, so like an um an eight and a half. I feel like the the uh, the combat is still kind of junky, even though I'm starting to actually kind of get kind of understand it. What's up, John? When do you I get your um? When do you get your custom rank? I don't know. I gotta think of something about it. Aren't you a poacher? Get out of here! Put their feet off, I say. You what, mate? Be gone from here! Get out, you bastard, or I shan't hold back! I warned you, you cur! I heard you. Oh, you- you gonna fight me? Time is it? That's one thing I wish that this game would have is like a clock or something that that's on the HUD. No, Wesley, I bought Roach. Roach is available to purchase in uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, which actually added to my uh, appreciation to the game. <laughs> What am I gonna get good? But you go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh. 
All right. Time to change up into my uh, secret gear. All right. And then Saber, Metal Shield. Already got the human bow. All right, now I look like the enemy. Where's my horse? And I just hit the tree. Cause awesome. Well, well. I'll slay you. Really? Is that all you got? Ah! Huh? I'm gonna enjoy this. <gasps> yeah. I'll slaughter. <laughs> Damn it, how are you not dead?
Now, where's your friend? Lost track of him. Oh, well. Probably didn't have much on him anyway. Moving on. bridge. That'll make it easier to cross the earthworks. There's open ground on both sides of it, but it's the fastest route for an attack. We're gonna save here first. Just in case shit goes south. Hey, Emmy. Oh, she do it. Oh, Shatra. Oh, Shabu. Such a lady. Good ground for a big fight, but not much cover. A stockade. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. Hmm. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. What? Um. Enjoy your meal. Nicho. Hmm? Oh shit! Oh shit! I've been caught! Oh fuck! Oh, God damn it, horse! Fucking A, Roach! Yeah. How are you doing, Emmy? Or is the chat broken again? This is all I've seen is you say hello. That's it. Pretty good. Enjoyed my day off. Still got the rest of the laundry to do, but that shouldn't be too problematic. Problematic.
Oh, oh yeah. No doubt. Oh, no wonder. Oh wait, I did wear that. Okay, good. All right. I thought I thought I missed that. There we go. Well, I don't know. Let's see if it works. Greetings. What business have you? I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? <sighs> There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Ouch, Gilbert. Gilbert. Thanks a lot. Belonged to Sir Dibish before Havel Maddock attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Dibish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from routing some rabble out of the woods. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them. But underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans too, quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalix? This is looking more and more serious. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defence. Mm. 
There is quite a few. Addition. We'll definitely need reinforcements. Hmm. I think the Talmberg men should suffice. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any... I managed to slip poison to a few of them. They should be too sick to fight. You're as cunning as a fox. We need more like you. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Tarnberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. What's up, gameplay? There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can mm. rely on me. Tell him to take... All right, I'll get go. And be quick. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going to redo. I'm going to re... I'm going to redo. I don't like it at all. I'm going to try... I'm going to... What I'm going to try and do is... Is scout the area again. See what more intel I can do by walking around before trying to sabotage and poison them. David, you ended up killing everyone there, like, just by yourself? <laughs> Good ground for a big fight, but not much cover. Yeah, bows are OP I if you see a long way from those people. And those archers up there. If you know how to freaking uh shoot, which I'm still struggling with. Oh what the fuck? Oh shit. Do you have anything to say? I didn't do nothing wrong. Let me go. I'm sure I'm sure I can get you to go. It's a little shag. As I guess I do, he buy a boy. I heard you had some trouble with our Cuban brothers. He provoked us to hurt so that we could assemble our rivals to that gate and there. He start fight. His friend killed two men. He was even dogs, sir. Don't listen to what they're saying. For the last time, Sigismund's mercenaries are guests in our camp, and we treat guests as our own. Mi itt vendégek vagyunk, ezért tisztelettel kell, hogy bánjanak velünk. Igen, ennek itt kell lennie. How do you want to punish him? Milyen büntetést tartok az számára? Enged szabadon, a többiek emlékezni fognak rá. Let him go, others will remember it. You let these dogs tell you what to do, and you call yourself a leader. Oh no, you don't fucked up now. <clears throat> No more unnecessary fighting. We are one camp, one army. So fucking remember that. Why do I have my helmet off? <sighs> Haven't you got nothing better to do? What a stinking shithole. I wouldn't want to live here. Alright, this place is no fucking joke. Go 
sounds like sure ain't easy. Look. What's got my husband? Blood bastards here. Dead women. Horses don't stop gaping at me. Fuck off. Okay. Now I'm going to check on this side. A stockade. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. Look at that. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. Oh shit, he's gonna talk to me? Hey, sir. Why are you get kitchen? Is that cause you need to buy me Fuck! Chakas, Kartatan, Keres need Valamit? Hey, there are no social cousins. Oh, no, set the rest of the guns. It's pita cassi. Or after him, one it is battle of Kudo. Nichak, Nichak, me boot it, Tello. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Uh, uh, because I was drunk, that's why. <laughs> John, I'm drunk, so that's why I sound like a fucking idiot, like flailing my arms and shit. A stockade. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. Good ground for a big fight. That does sound kind of baity as fuck, Proxy. <laughs> All right, I already saw this part. Scum? What are you doing there? What a stinking shithole. I wouldn't want to live here. What? Fuck. Here. No more scum for this one. Is that guy's looking at me? Staring at some fucking human. I got a piss. I mean, I could just say go ham and try and kill every single one of them I see. That would be hilarious if I actually pulled it off. Look at that. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. Thank you! Uh. Thank you! Uh, excuse me. Oh, a back entrance. Huh. 
Oh no. Hey, te vár csak egy kicsit. Mit akarsz, hogy ennyit bámész kocsi? Ha? Hügyotnom kell. Így csinálhatod, ahol akarod. Úgy is térdig járunk itt a szarban. Yeah. Right on. Hossz időjárás, hossz sátra. Hey, te vár csak egy kicsit. Mit akarsz, hogy ennyit bámész kocsi? Are you serious? God damn it, this guy's talking to me too. Mit akarsz, hogy ennyit bámész kocsi? Fuck you. Na jó, bocsánat, zavarkodtam, megyek a dolgomra. Fuck. I'm running out of options here. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't have a torch. Well, I can solve that one. Uh, by magically trans uh, teleporting a torch from my horse to my inventory. Because realism. <laughs> well, you won't be shooting these arrows. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh shit, he's coming to me. It was that guy, he did it. Huh? Shit. Hey, Kodo. Yeah, that guy's going after me. Um... Standing around, staring at them fucking humans drive me crazy. No one went off. Fucking cow. Bloody open this shit. Hey. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I, like, I don't know, sabotage something and just run? Or should I just try to go fucking Rambo and kill everybody uh, in, the, in the camp? I don't know. Because this guy is just... Won't leave me alone. I'm just gonna run as fast as I can away from him and see if I can't light that. Uh... I already sabotaged that. Well, you won't be shooting these arrows. Alright, lit those arrows up. Alright. What I'm gonna do is, uh... Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, whatever, John. Have some faith. All right, what I'm going to do is I am just going to... What are you looking at, human scum? Man, fuck you. Racist. All right, I'm going to sabotage the pot. Enjoy your meal. Wolfman stink everywhere. Should have stayed home. I'd like to see you try shooting these now. What are you doing here? Yep. Oh, I just ate from your guys' food. Oh, God! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, shit! <laughs> I like how these guys are just still still cold chilling. Fewer arrows you have, the better for us. Hang on. <laughs> Leave me alone. Secret is an explosive. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Ow, shit! Oh god. Yeah. Fuck! Fuck out of here. then I'm in combat still? Oh boy.
I need shoes. Shoes are what I'm missing now. What the hell? Fucking horse. Come on, Roach. Um, because he was afraid that, uh, Yen would try to, um, stuff, uh, Roach like, you know, the, uh, unicorn. You're dead. Really? What's the matter? Come on. I have no time for y'all shit right now. Motherfucker. Ah. Ow, fucking hell.
Ah, what the hell? God bless you. What troubles you? I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. He used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Medic attacked and torched it. And then imprisoned Divish. Been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from routing some rabble out of the woods. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defence. There's quite a few of them there. Perdition. We'll definitely need reinforcements. I think the Talmberg men should suffice. I don't like leaving the castle unprotected, but there's no other option. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them. But underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans too, quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund oh, have God. left them there after he raised Scalics? This is looking more and more serious. I took a look at their arms and armour. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I managed to destroy some of their arrow supplies, so they'll have less ammunition. Well done. That's just what we need. I managed to slip poison to a few of them. They should be too sick to fight. You're as cunning as a fox. There we go. More like you. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Tarnberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take all his men. Leave only the bare minimum at the castle and march to Pribislavitz. I'll take everyone but for one or two sentries. Hopefully together we'll have enough men to defeat them. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you. Get runt.
I did! Henry, I'm glad you stopped by. Henry, I'm glad That's a came. bunch of bullshit. I did sabotage. I took care of the arrows. Oh, hey, you. Me, Henry. I am not going to talk to you. And you know why. You... Seducer. How are you, Henry? <laughs> Greetings. What do you need? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Privislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzig wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? <laughs> I managed to track down the camp of the bandits. Yeah, I notice who's taking whose side here, Emmy. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. <laughs> I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzig is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzig said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? Everyone? There really are a lot of them, Sir Divish. He's leaving the camp almost empty, too. We're to go and join his people in Privislavitz and mount an assault together. All right, then. Sir Radzig knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you leave my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. All right, this is happening. I already noticed on uh, Nexus, guys, there's already right. people who have added more perks. I'm glad uh, to see to the, you, to, the, to, the, to the vanilla I game. I Henry's explained everything to you. He did. But I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force and right under our noses? We'll just have to find out. But I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. Oh, fuck. There are three ways to get in. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlement. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge and the archers, it's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. Well, I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march. Forward march! Oh boy, here we go. Now they're going to find out how much I fucked up. To 
the bridge, quickly! Get to the other side, as many of you as possible, and hold your position there! Come here, motherfuckers. There's one. Ow, you son of a bitch. Okay. Sir Divish, the old guy. Coming on to me from like 45 miles away. What's up? Uh, what's up, uh, Wazoo? Buddy. Man, this will be the Aha, there he is. I wanted that I wanted that uh that helmet mask, whatever the fuck it's called.
Better at gambling. Poke. Left. Lower right. Lower left. Poke, poke. Oh shit! Oh shit! Here we go! It's time for vengeance! A ninja scarf. Honestly. <laughs> oh, where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What's. Hang on. You on it? Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? So what did you do with my sword? Judging by our last encounter, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Because last time was too easy. Well, this one is, um... This game is set in, like, the summer or spring, so I don't know about winter happening anytime soon. Oh, God! Come on, then. Don't 
Upsy did it. Where's the sword? I'd say you're flogging a dead horse there. You took him down on your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Noyov. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? We'd taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. And there were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly pleased. Um, I could see his freaking beat. Holy shit, I'm just glad the fucking, uh, his cold. underwear hid away his taint for fuck's sake god damn it this right, game sir. has collision issues <laughs> well lad we live to fight another day eh <laughs> that's the fear leaving you lad let it go Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on <laughs> The tainted forest. game it is. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Rate, and then decide what to do next. Come what may, you did a good job today. you pay for this uh oh it's time for the next part of our plan give the word yes sir oh my god the worst game tag you've ever seen is
A room of my own at per Perkstein? What the hell is Perkstein? Where is Perkstein? Oh. Oh, so this is my room. Nice. Probably, Mike. <laughs> Dragon Age 3. I never played any of the Dragon Age uh, games. The only uh, Bioware games I really played were um, the Mass Effect series and uh, the first uh, Knights of the Old Republic. I have no idea what's causing these um, pauses and interruptions. Hey, watch it. Be a bit more careful. Oh, you do? Yeah, me too. I have all three. And all, well, all four, I should say. I, I have Andromeda. Which could have been so much better, but it's not as bad hey, as people say it is. But it's, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's, yeah, it could have been so much better. I guess that's the best way of saying it. And I'm not even talking about, like, just simply the animation anything. issues either. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Pribislovitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry, I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Oh, Come good. Into... My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pribislovitz. Bastards were probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislovitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fac what? Facsimile. I don't give a fact what you call them. I want to know <laughs> what they're fucking worth. That's they're counterfeit! Question. They're worth nothing. You saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um, this here is just a pile of copper. Kurra! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some worth. 
Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. I would say, John, I would say at that price, it's a decent game. But they could just be brought in from at that price, else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groceries seem freshly minted, so... So we are facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Dump the devil. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already, I doubt it, sir. Merhoyed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said that we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhoyed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. Go talk to my lover. While you're at it, see if you can find some Which one? The noble woman or Teresa? The one I actually want to, uh, you know, have a relationship with. On you, all of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. I'm glad you came. <laughs> Both. Good <laughs> almighty. I heard that. I don't know any. Really? Really. <laughs> Military horseshoes. I'll take them. what we need to find a swordsmith tailor all right quest giver over there I 
I hope I can be a... from Kelly. Good for me. You all know what happened there. Help your neighbor. Welcome. God save you, Henry. Who are you? So, okay, you guess you're not going to talk to me. Whatever. <clears throat> Unless you're upstairs, I guess. Good day, Henry. God save you, good man. Good health to you. How Henry. are you? I hope I can be a Oh my god. Get out of my way. <laughs> this game. What the hell is this? God's sake. Would you teach me more of... Certainly. I'm interested in... Wouldn't you rather... Damn it. Well...
Marigold. Do I already have that? No, I don't. Gotta be some way of going upstairs, guys. Uh, I don't know, Kodo, and I'm not gonna engage in that, please. <clears throat> And also, something I learned is alchemy is r really, really difficult in this game. Like, no joke, like, just one small mistake, it's all it takes for you to mess up uh, the potion. It's not easy at all. Good day, Henry. Jesus, look. What the hell? Hey, watch it. What is it? God be with you, Henry. Finally. My respects to you. You look like you've got a lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors, I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scarlet's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs, the problem's sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the most, but you might be able to help, Henry. How? They're like to be more honest with you, so you can find out who's in the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. I'm sure it won't take too long. You know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask around if you need to find out more. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry, begging your pardon, shit. <laughs> or as the Pope would say, excrement. Is there anyone who can tell me more about it? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so Hang you can on, talk I'll to him. I'll be right him. back. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best hey, suited Mark, to the what job. Are you doing, Jane? How come that's such a cause for concern? For one thing, they're afraid of me, and I can't get a straight answer out of any of them. So how the hell am I supposed to make the right choice? Well, they're desperate. You can't blame them. I don't, but I might end up picking some good-for-nothing who'll just booze his wages away.
Can you tell me anything more about the cook? You'll have to ask Hagen yourself. I couldn't get a straightforward answer out of him. Maybe he's changed his mind. What's up, Steven? What do I need to know about the water carriers? We need three. Right now, some of the burgers' hands are doing the job. And they need to go all the way down to the river for water. Of course. Where else would they get it? Gallows Hill. It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. What can you tell me about the other um, carriers? It's dirty, but it's a job that needs to be done. There will be more than enough work for them. Some places are overflowing. Sounds disgusting. Why would anyone want the job? If all else fails, I'll pay two groschen for every one I pay the water carriers. That might convince someone. That's all I need to know. Good luck, then. Oh, damn it. He also had other jobs, too. Oh. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? I should say so. The bishop's vicar came to Ujits, and not even Sir Hanush knows what he's after in these parts. Something must be up, but I couldn't tell you more than that. I'm honored that you should come here. I'd like to ask about our former neighbors. There are jobs here for some of them, and I have to pick people. The bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? But what of it? It will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone, and no one wants to do the knacker's job. I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard Hi, she can Archer. cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. So who should I talk to then? Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house, so they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while, though. But having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job that's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant... I know. So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is falling shit? You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. When we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. Thanks.
Henry, I'm glad you came. God damn, what is going on with my uh, game that it's... The bailiff sent me. He says you're looking for a cook. That's right. Wow. I'm searching for a good cook, but I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the scallet folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. I understand. Sorry. <laughs> I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It goes without saying. I also heard that you need workers to carry... Uh... To empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such menace. That's not a concern for decent people. But I need to know. Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. Oh, for fuck's sake. Save you, Henry. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let them. Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did, before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallops. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper, and everyone I asked sent me to you. Oh, I've been blessed by God. So it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. Why not? Because I'm still Father Francis's housekeeper. But I heard he fled and isn't coming back. Don't pay any attention. They're just rumors. I'm still his housekeeper. Where's Father Francis now? I don't know. The last time I saw him, he was going to confession in Sassau. But that was before all these terrible things happened. I've heard no word of him since then. Does he go to Sassau often? Where does he stay when he's there? Not so often. About this the longest month, archer has stood on my shoulder. He always used to stay in the inn near the monastery. So he wouldn't have far to go. I'll ask around about what happened to Father Francis. I'll let you know. Archer. God be with you, Henry. Oh, shit.
Hi. Would you like to get up to some more mischief? It was fun the last time. Yes, it was. I'm a bit surprised you thought so too. Although a girl doesn't get a chance to tend the wounds of a gallant defender every day. It's quite late to be going out somewhere just now. Will you come tomorrow? Do you want something? I'd like to ask a favour of you, Hal. Of course. What is it? I heard you're picking people to carry water. No one needs the job more than Antonia. Adam never mentioned any Antonia. I'm not surprised. But Antonia really needs that job. Hmm. Can she cook? What's that got to do with carrying water? Nothing, but there's a cook's job going too. Much easier than hauling water. I don't know how good a cook she is, though. You'd better ask her yourself. Do you think she'll be able to handle carrying those buckets? It's quite far, and up that hill. She's no princess. She's tough enough. All right. All right. I'll bear it in mind. Bear it in mind? What does that mean? Oh, my I God. Think about it. The bailiff has the last word. Well, if he's got something against giving the job to a woman, then try and get Vincent in at least. He might not have anyone on their deathbed, but his mother has no one else. Jeez, fucking bite my head off, won't you? I said I would agree to get her get her friend hired. What was it? What was it, what was I gonna all say instead? That oh, I'm not gonna hire her because it's gonna be my ass on the line if she fucks up. Or should I say okay, I'll I'll actually plead her case to the bailiff. Those are my only two choices. But no, I'm the in the wrong here. I'm the in the wrong here. Fuck. Yes, that was Teresa. She doesn't want to see me. Uh, she said it's too late to go see her right now, so. God save Henry. The herbalist Kunhutter sent me. I'm here because of the ghost. You don't look like you know a thing about ghosts. Why didn't she come herself? Why did she send someone so young instead? Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? Kunhutter's back hurts, so she sent me. I don't really understand any of this, but I'll do everything I can. 
God in heaven, I could have just done it myself. What exactly has been going on? It happens at night. Every night, now an apparition comes to me and I can't get a wink of sleep. I can't take it anymore. Whose ghost is it? His name was Alois and he had a farm not far from Ledechko. A few years ago, his farmhouse burned down with him in it. I've heard that people who die such horrible death seldom rest in peace. Why do you think he chose you of all people? How am I supposed to know? Maybe because we're neighbours. We grew up together as children. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. Where is Alois buried? For the exorcism, I'll need flowers from his grave. He's laid to rest in the Sassau Cemetery by the wall. His grave is a bit overgrown with vines. I've been there a few times for a visit. The first day he appeared, I prayed at his grave, but he came again just the same. Hmm. I know everything. Then for God's sake, perform the ritual as soon as possible. All right. Um... Am I going to make it in time? I'm probably not. How are you, Henry? Oh shit. You. Stop. Got you. And now I'll fix you good. This definitely won't come cheap. This is surely no way to treat one of Sir Radzig's men. I dread to think what else to- I- I didn't- Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I'm from Scanet, and I lost everything I had. Did you find out- Folks say it was an account of- I think it's too late then. Yeah, during the day. What is it? God um, they're like a toaster. They're they're not gibberish. They're like in anagrams. Like you can vaguely glean what the words are. So it's not like completely uh supposed to find some workers uh, you. illegible. Me. Oh, I thought you might appreciate an honest job for an honest wage. What are you trying to say? 
I just thought it might- A good Samaritan, are you? Fine, asshole. Fuck! Fucking lazy ass, get a job. I'm- Good God, you look terrible. You hear about the water? I- I, I can hold water all day long. But I'm reduced. So, do you want the job? I'm from Skellige. There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want- So you're keen on carrying water? I've been keen on it since I got up this morning. And you had another job before this morning, or what? No, no. I was just joking. So tell me, what was your trade before? I was a miner, then a farm labourer, then I was a servant, then I fled from Scullitz and ended up here. Quite the fat totem, aren't Be you? Merciful. Was none of those what jobs good you enough for you? Wreck. Uh, I liked them all, but they were always sending me to do something else. Pickman, they'd say, leave this and go and do that. Uh, uh, Pickman, that's your name? Uh, actually, my real name's Wasser, but they call me Pickman. Is that German? No, it's from when I was in the mines, digging with a pick. Uh... Besides water, you could carry, um... Welcome, Henry. You could empty latrines. What? Carry shit? <laughs> That'd be a new one for me. No, it's not a thing I'd go around boasting about. He sounds like he'd be okay with carrying up? shit. What can I tell you? What happened with the bailiff? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. That... Peacock, what was strutting up and down and shouting at everyone? He told me he'd no time to listen to a buffoon like me. So I shut my mouth. Well, I could put it. Fair enough. Oh, no. Oh my god. It's just a saying. Ah, right. Treasure, you say? Right, you got my attention. I see you're a smart man. What? A man. Never heard of her. She was a great queen. Magical, eh? No, it's true. In the Bible, it's even. In the Bible. And this sword, once it's put back together, nothing can stop it. It can cut through bones, teeth, even steel and stone. I see. But you've only got one piece. What's that good for? Uh, I couldn't get it all. The fellow I bought it off didn't have the rest. He sold off. Uh-huh. We'll shake on it. I'll get you the job, and you- Agreed! Hey! Henry's come to see us! We've reduced to begging. But what am I to do, good folk? Here, take this. The Lord is praying. Henry. Masterful, good people. Ah, here we go. God save. What can I do for God you? God be with you, Henry. Are you here on account of the water carrying? Yes, I am. My name is Vincent. Nice to meet you. I'll ask a few questions and we'll see. All right? Fine. I'll ask away. What did you do before this? I worked for my father. Doing what? But who's your father anyway? He's. He was Moynier. We had a Moynier. farm near Scarlet. Really? His farm hands came to the tavern a lot, but I never saw you there. Uh, I don't go to taverns. Okay. So you're probably here about carrying water, right? Aye. I, I want to carry water. That's all. There's nothing more to add. That's what's needed, ain't it? How Fair are you enough. Up? Well. I'm alive, but I miss my father, and the farm too, but Ma says there's no use dwelling on it. Life must go on. Welcome, Henry. What happened with Bailiff? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. I, I don't know. I didn't talk to him at all. And what would you give me if I... I've got... Oh, come now. 
You say you want the job, so prove it to me. Mother told me I should go and help. If, if you don't want my help, fair enough. Oh, he sounds so That's enough for sad. <laughs> Be merciful, good people. God save you, good lad. What can I do for you? Probably have to hey, wait until tomorrow to get the uh, the rest of these folks out there. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way for the bed. God save Henry. Welcome, Henry. Henry! Just the man I want to see. I need help with something. All right. What's the problem, sir? The Archbishop's vicar has come to Ujit. I don't know why exactly, but the rumor is that he's on the hunt for heretics, which frankly never meant any good, especially for me. I'm sorry, but I'm not really up on religious ranks, sir. What does a vicar do, exactly? You don't have to apologize. It's the devil's own work to make sense of their twisted hierarchy. The vicar is short for vicarious, meaning in place of. Welcome, he has full power to act on his superior's behalf. I see. In this case, sadly, the superior in question is that nincompoop, Archbishop Zbigniew Hare of Hassenburg. Ah. Uh I honestly don't know. I would imagine, yes, I agree with you, Tostra, that maces would probably be better um, on armor. Um, what should I do? About but I really couldn't tell you. I'm not. I'm, I usually don't handle blunt weapons um, in games like this. Be on the hunt for heretics, which wouldn't be good news. Or it's equally possible he's here to size up my estate. Which would be even worse. I understand. And then what? The best thing for me and all concerned would be for him to pack his bags and go back to Prague. And how can I um, encourage him to do that? I can't just kick him out, can I? No, of course not. But if you can make him believe there's nothing to find here, he'll be off in no time. So tell him I've sent you to assist him. I understand. And my task is to assist him in finding nothing. Indeed. Very well. I'll get going straight away. Good luck, lad. And be careful. I'll be careful. All right. My God, what happened to you? You look like... Let's fight. I'm still black and blue from the last time. All right, bitch, let's fight. You're going to cry. Uh. 
Come on. What's up, Knight? I'm trying to find somebody. Is it place already closed or what? Have a shit. What do I got? Henry, I'm glad you came. Why don't you surprise me? I doubt there's much would surprise a wink. What are you God's gaping sake, at? Henry. Are you tired? Hey, no? you there. Yeah. Are you going to hang around here gaping like a stuffed squirrel all day? And Shut up. Greetings, good night. If you can't pay for a bar, clear off. Stop where you're going. What do you think you're doing? You've no shit in this world. By God, I pay every day. If I have the coin. No? If you were here every day, fucking you. Hey! What are you gaping at? Why are you sleepy? Just a long day today or what? Greetings, Henry. Get out of my way! Oh, watch where you're going! You watch where you're going! God. If only there was a Fusro Da available in this game. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the play with him? God damn. Am I not able to talk to you? You're just gonna stare at me. Hey! Like a zombie. 
Can you hear me? Yes? Can you? Fuck. Fine. I'll leave. Punch your chicken. What's up, demonic? You know what? Would you guys mind if I call it uh, an early day today? I, I've been kind of tired. Fifteen more minutes. All right, I can do fifteen more minutes. Good health. Here you're able to open. Certainly. I'd like to pra All right. Now. Ding. What up? No cat.
Thanks. Nope. Henry, I'm glad you came. What do you want? I want to work. And I heard God you're the you one in charge of giving out jobs, not the bailiff. Mm -hmm. It's true. Do you know how to cook? If you know how to make food for a noble, then I might have something for you. Where would I learn to cook food for nobles? I want to carry water. Oh, okay. Alex has already picked people who want to carry water. He didn't ask me, though. So I came here myself. Look, I already have more people. But I really... And so did everyone else. None of them has a husband on his deathbed. Oh my god. He's dying. He's badly wounded. So poorly he's been in his bed for weeks. Unconscious most of the time. Sorry to hear it. I already owe the apothecary a small fortune. And he won't lift a finger for us now. What did you do in Scalit? I was at the silverworks, roasting the ore and washing it. My husband was at the smelter. Oh, Christ. Things got very ugly there. I suppose that's where your husband was wounded? It's a miracle you managed to drag him all the way to Ratai. What else could I do? Leave him there? All right. I'll think about it and talk to the bailiff. And you'll tell him to take me, right? How does life it I suppose it was kind of them to take How come you're wearing so Welcome Henry. You're here about the water carrying? I am. Where do I get some pail? Hold your horses. Oh my god, his neck. Yet. Who gets the job? He's also having the, <laughs> the sewn on first. neck issue. <laughs> Fuck. I can handle the job. But ask away. What trade did you do before? I worked in the mines. Welcome, at the winch. Henry. You've heard of Tonda the winch, right? Strong as a bull. Ah, the name sounds familiar. You were one of the new miners, weren't you? I was. I came last autumn. The winter was mild enough to work the mines, and I showed everyone I was a hard worker. Did I get the job? What? Uh, we're not Henry, finished yet. Winston. No. Are you here because you Bear want to key. carry water? Well, I'd rather Bear be back key. in a winch. Turning it so fast I'd make everyone's head spin. But now I want to carry water at least, since there's some money in it. Well, uh, there's also the option of carrying, um, shit. Not a chance. I'm not carrying any shit around. And if anyone tries to make me, I'll break his legs. Damn. God be with you, Henry. And what if I told you that you'd get double the pay? Didn't I mention something about breaking legs? God you, damn. You did, but more money. I wouldn't be Tonda the winch anymore. More like hey, Tonda the stench. Henry, come to see us. And how are you holding up? Not very well. I'll tell you that. I help out with something every once in a while and get some money for it. But it's not enough. Especially when the dice don't fall in my face. Oh, you're sure. blowing your fucking money for and dice? You're looking for other work. Man, fuck you. Before, I'm giving your so job to Antonia. Again, and I'll have a real man's job. And what about soldiering? That's real man's work, isn't it? It is. And I'd be good at it. When I land a punch, you'd think you were kicked by a horse. Henry, which I once showed to a soldier I fell out with over a game of dice. Only, aren't he smart for soldiering? Mm, no doubt. Aha. Uh -huh. well I heard you lot don't want to talk to the bailiff. I don't know much about that. The others didn't talk to him, so I kept my mouth shut as well. That's the way we do it at the mines. 
He didn't even really ask me anything anyway. He just mumbled something under his breath. What would you give me if I recommended you? What could I give when I don't have a pot to piss in? All I... Well, if I get you the job, will you show me how to re... I could. Oh. I know everything I need. So, can I go... Not yet. I'll... Well, I hope he cheat. If you think I'm afraid of you, you're mistaken. We'll see. You're kind of an asshole, dude. God save. What can I do for you? How does life in Rattock? It'd be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels. Henry, I'm glad you came. You're interested in carrying water? I am. It's about time. I agree. What? But I want the work and I deserve it. Keep your questions for good for nothings. What makes you so deserving? How did you make a living before this? I was the owner of a mine. Oh, wow. Well, I had a lease on it. But in our line of work, it amounts to the same thing. The chief, eh? But have you ever hauled a bucket of ore up a hill? There's no hill in a mine. Just a shaft with a winch. Okay. It's hard work carrying water. So is taking care of a mine. But it's not quite the same thing, is it? You need brawn to carry water, not brains. I wasn't born a mine owner, you know. I've done my share of hauling. There's also the option. Uh, that, um, <laughs> you can carry all the, sh all the shit around. The trees. Are you trying to insult me? That's no job for a decent Christian. True. That's why it pays double. Double, hey. Well, that's not bad, not bad, but uh, for a man of my stature, no doubt there are more needy souls. Hmm, double. Mm. All right, so he's kind of he's kind of into it for for double the money to carrying around shit. How are you holding up in Ratoy? Not too well. I've tried offering my administrative abilities at the Rat House, but the bailiff treats me like a peasant. He's not an easy man to deal with, true enough. But if you show him what you're capable of... Or well, if he gives you a chance to show him... And the bailiff complained he couldn't get a word out of you. I refused to talk to him. Last time I did, he was vulgar, shouted and threatened to whip me. And then he comes and interrogates me. Well, I can't see how... What would you give me if I put in a good word for you? So that's how it is, is it? Mm -hmm. I'm honest. Come now. I just want to help, but I'll have my job cut out persuading the bailiff to take you. All right. I don't have anything, but I know the armourer in Sassau. Nah, no good. I already know him. I've nothing else to want. Okay. That's enough for now. How are you, Henry? Rock. My humble greetings. How may I serve you? You're one of the people interested in work. Well, Alex told me that I'm supposed to ask about a job carrying water. You, That's right. But first, I'll ask you a few questions. You are... Peter. But everyone calls me Rock. There was more than enough Peters in the mines. And not just in the mines. So... Okay. At the mines? So you're a miner? Henry, That's I'm right. I worked in the East Shelf. And I hope I'll be working there again. Now What's up, think, boss? Have you heard anything from that old chip? When will they open the mines again? I have no idea what their lordships plan to do about it. All right. I just thought you might have heard something. How badly do you want to carry water? Well, right now there doesn't seem to be much work around for miners. And at least I can earn a few groschen. It's not easy work, though. It's a long way to carry water. Do you think it was easier in the mine? Digging through rock in your knees all day for months on end? There's one more option. Carrying shit. What? For the knacker? It's a job. But what You're was just about to go to sleep. I, I hear you. I badly, but I couldn't go back to mining after that. But it would be twice the pay. The money would help, true enough. What about afterwards? 
I don't want to be carrying shit all my life. Hmm. I won't come to that. Sir Ravdig will surely take care of things when he returns home. He won't forget the sacrifice you make. I'm yes! To hear that. If that's... Alright, I got my shit carriers. I'll even carry... <laughs> How are you holding up? You mean this I head? got the, uh, the, well, the head miner and the, uh, this this guy, anyway? Rock. That time in Scalic. I was knocked down by a horse. But it's better now. Look, I can see by the way your arm is hanging, it's not healed. You can't carry water like that. Well, come on. I owe money to the Sawbones, and I need the work to pay for it. I'll give you anything you want. What's up, Billet? All right. Pretty good. Thanks. The bailiff said he couldn't get a word but out. But I'm about to go uh, call it a day after I finish this quest. Right um, though, I want to keep it an early day. Maybe. But if well, you I started early, him, but I'm kind of ending it uh, a little bit earlier. You'll have a few crossing by now. You might be right, but there's no point crying. What would you? Good work. Sure. But I haven't got a pot to piss in. Oh. I I heard about it. At... Uh huh. So what did you hear? They found something they wanted kept a secret. There weren't a... The punishment for stealing the king's silver is hanging or burning at the stake. I know, but you can't be burned for stealing silver nobody knows about. Oh my god. That's enough for now. All right. Shit. Where's the bailiff? Good day to you. I know everything I need to know to pick the carriers. Splendid. I'll be glad to get this damn business off my back. So how have you decided? So, how do we do this? Do I just give you their names, or should I send for them? Just tell me their names and whether they should carry water or something else. Don't worry, I'll send for them. Uh, Cornelius. Oh, uh, so, uh, Rock is carrying shit. Peter, better known as Rock. Peter? Rock? Didn't he get into a fight and injure his arm? Well, what should he do? Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Uh, Cornelius. Cornelius. Also carrying shit. Ah, uh, Cornelius. I had him here once looking for a job. Ha! Huh? Where do you want to put him? I'd like to see him with buckets of shit. Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Antonia. What? A woman? Yes, yeah. a woman. Is that a problem? You never said it had to be only men. I didn't, but I kind of assumed it would be clear. It's a long walk with a heavy load, man's work. She can handle the job. Have no fear. Let's hope so. You'll have to answer to me if she can't. Where do we put her then? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Vasi. Goes by the moniker of Pikmin. Pikmin? I hope he doesn't have a history of pickpocketing. No, no. They call him Pikmin because he worked in the silver mines, and he was very keen with the picks. So much so, he managed to chop off two of his fingers. Well, he can't do too much damage with a bucket, I suppose. Where do you want to put him? Water. To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Vincent, Moimir's son. Vincent? Never heard of him. 
What do you think he should do? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? That's it. Good. All decided. Now about the cook's job. I'd like to talk to you. That's all I need to know. Good luck, Vic. All right. I at least got the these people their um, assigned jobs. So I'm going to call it a day there. Um, and I will see you guys next time uh, tomorrow, okay? I don't know. I think I'm addicted to, uh, to the point where I'm probably going to finish this game through to the uh, the end of uh, the main quest. So, I mean, expect that for the rest of the week. <laughs> so, I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Have a good night.